Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Terranigma. Or rather, Let's End Terranigma, because in the last video, we beat Dark Gaia, and we saved the surface world once and for all. But due to our efforts, we and the entire underworld will now disappear, and the world will be peaceful. And we will apparently hap happen to show up again, only the world really needs us. So in order to just go straight to the credits, all you have to do is just get in bed. And the game ends. something important to tell you, or to say. I tried to kill you as a baby in Storkholm. In Krista, the Elder's word was absolute. But seeing you grown up, I understand now. We are all individuals. It's important to live naturally. Crystal will be gone soon. But if we are bound by fate, we will meet again in time, somewhere. Ark, until then, goodbye just a little while. Art fell into a deep sleep. Art dreamed his last dream. It was a dream of becoming a bird and seeing the world grown older. is a bird and the credits roll so how does this game stack up I've had people tell me this is probably one of the best if not the actual best role-playing games on the Super Nintendo it's a shame this never came to America. Because this really would have become quite the gem if it did. Alas, Enix shut its doors in America before the game could come out in the States. And only Europe and Japan got it in 1996. So we missed out on quite a good game here in the States. The game is absolutely beautiful. The graphics are pretty good. They're very good. Love the sound and the music. Play control is a little interesting. I mean, you can get really used to it and it's pretty sharp. You do have to get used to how to get people to interact with you as well as how to open doors. It's a little different, but not too different. But once you figure it out, you'll be good to go. I also definitely like how you battle in this game. 
You have some pretty good moves. They're all really useful at certain times. Love the battle system in this game. And as you go through the game, you do get better at not getting hit. And it's, 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 this game is just a wonderful experience to go through with the battling and the story and the plotline and figuring out why the Earth died and who tried to kill it and who's trying to kill it again and how to make sure that history doesn't repeat itself. And now we see Ark with a train here. really get to love the music in the credit sequence here. The credit sequence as a whole is very, very nice. It's, it's a very good reward for getting through this long and arduous game, but once, once you do, it's really, really worth it. Um, replay value. I guess you could pop this back in probably like in a few years time after you played this just to play through it all over again. Maybe in a year's time, maybe in two years' time, who knows. But once you play this game, wait a while, pick it back up again, play it again. That way you can kind of appreciate what kind of game this is. Just treasure it all over again. And now we're flying with an airplane here in the sky. really love how they use Mode 7 through this game. You definitely get to see it throughout. It's very, very good. And that's pretty much all I can really say about this game, to be honest. So, all I can really tell you is that this game is really, really worth getting however you can. And you can thank Colin Palmer for art speaking into a, in, the, in the third person, as well as a ghost, a toast, or roast, bring it on. And probably these people, too. And of course, there were foreign language versions. There was the German one, there was a Spanish one, there was a French one. I want to think that there was a... Dutch one too. And we are now seeing cities for the first time. Oh, no Dutch. Huh. Well, I guess the uh, instruction manual has a Dutch session or something. I can't say the word Dutch. I don't know why. But now we are flying above cities and highways and homes and there are now stars in the sky something we didn't see in the game would have been pretty cool if we did see it in the game alas we did not and big old building right there and we are now back flying over forest again. And I believe that this credits music is now approaching its end. And you see some trees, you see some grass, you see some big trees in there. As fun as Mode 7 is, it's not really accurate 3D. As soon as we stop, we land in the forest, and we appear to be in Storkholm again.
someone knocks on the door. Coming! Who could it be at this time? It's almost midnight. Who is it? And the person at the other end of the door is never revealed. So maybe it's supposed to be Ark as a bird? Maybe it could be Ark as a bird transformed back into himself or something? Maybe it's... Maybe we're dreaming that we're Light Side Ark and Light Side Ark was the bird and then he came back to Light Side L or something and L doesn't know that it's not our Ark but instead the Light Side Ark? Who knows? The game never really reveals this, and it just kind of leaves it to interpretation, I think. But with that, the game has now ended. Go get this game any way you can. It's a very, very good game. It's not perfect, but it is very, very good, considering how late in the lifespan of the Super Nintendo that it came out. Again, I wish this game came out in the States. Sadly, Enix shut its doors in America before that could happen. So we missed out on this as well as Dragon Quest 5 and 6 when they originally came out. And who knows? Maybe there'll be an HD remake of this game or something. Who knows? I doubt it, but... If it did, well, maybe it'll bring more attention to this game anyway. But this has been Let's Play Terranigma. Hopefully I will be back with another game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between. Who knows? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later!